Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video I created this kind of like a sunset eye using the new Soph um, Extra Spice palette. You can see Georgie's walker there. Um, but if you'd like to see how I've done this then please just keep on watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyelids with concealer and I'm going to do the face first. I'm going to use the e.l.f. hydrating primer and I'm just going to put this all over my face and then... Um, Rub it in. For foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay foundation and I'm going to mix it with the Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation. This one's just like, it is like my like shade, it's just too pinky, that's why I like mixing them together. Then I'm just going to go in and blend that out with my sponge. I'm going to need to go in with more of that foundation I didn't mix enough. So I just mixed some more together and I'm just going to go back in and blend it in again. I think I've made it slightly too dark but it'll look better once the concealer's on. For concealer, I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1 and this is actually a brand new one. I, I just turned like the cellophane stuff off it today. I actually really like this um, concealer. Then I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Correct in the white one and I'm going to add a few dots of this to where I've applied the concealer just to make it more highlighted because the shade C1 is like basically my skin tone. I like to go in with the white one to really just lighten it up and make it look highlighted. So I'm just going in with my sponge and I'm just going to blend out my chin, cupid's bow and forehead with this. Then I'm going to go in and blend my nose and underneath my eyes out with my finger. And I have broke like most of my nails. I need to do them again but I need to wait until George is in bed so. set all that in place I'm going to grab with the Maybelline Master Fix loose setting powder and I'm just going to set my face. So once that's set I'm going to go in with the Revolution Renaissance Glow and I'm going to use this to contour with and the foundation sitting weird on my skin there. It was like a spot but now it's turned into like a dry patch so it's just not sitting over the top of it nicely like it's just all like clinging to it so we're gonna need to just ignore that today to bronze i'm going to use the maybelline master bronze and i'm literally just going to mix all of these these three shades together and then tap off my brush because it, are, it is like very pigmented so I do just like to tap off my brush so that I'm not like putting far too much on my face. I'm going to use the Goddess of Love highlight from I Heart Revolution and I'm just going to apply this to where I normally would highlight and it is going to look really horrible over the top of that little dry patch but it's going to look horrible anyway if I just like miss out the highlight so I might as well just put highlight on and not do anything about it. I've not used this highlight in ages and it's actually so nice. Just going in with a smaller brush I'm just going to apply this to my nose. I always end up like making it squint on my nose. I'm going to apply it to my cupid's bow with this little brush as well. To settle of that in place I'm going to use the MUA Pro Base 
in Sainsbury. I'm just going to call it a fixing mist. That, that is actually what it says on it, fixing mist. And I'm just going to spray it. Like, that sh comes out, like, so strong. I'm just going to quickly dab this into my skin just to help press all the powders and everything into the skin. So from pressing the powder into the skin, it's made like that little dry patch look a little bit better. You can't see it as much, which is obviously a good thing. For the eyeshadow today, I'm going to use the Revolution Soft Palette. This is her Extra Spice one. And I absolutely love it, this palette. So I think I'm going to do like a kind of sunset eyeshadow look. I'm going to start off by taking the... Um, yellow and it is called vitamin C and I'm just going to put this through my crease as the transition shade and I'm going to bring this quite high up so that we can still see it after all of the other shades are blended like through the crease as well. Then I'm going to go in with a mixture of the two orange. The top this one is called Running Late and then the other one is called Sweet and Sour and I'm just going to put these in the crease. I'm just going on with that yellow shade again and I'm just using this just to make sure that that orange is all nice and blended out. Then I'm going to go in with the red shade called 21. And I'm going to start applying this onto like my eyelid. And I'm going to keep it like quite near the top of the eyelid. I want to keep this bit clear for a different shade to go onto that. Then I'm just going back in with a mixture of the two orange shades. Orange shades. And making sure that that red is all blended out nicely. Then I'm going to go in with this purple shade called Mulled Wine. And I'm going to apply this just underneath that red shade. I think I might go in with one more shade. So I'm going to leave like just above my lash line um, free of any eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend this along. Then going back in with the red shade, I'm going to use this just to make sure that the two shades are blended together nicely. I was just kind of going like back and forth between the shades to make sure that they are like all nice and blended together. Then back in with the two orangey shades and blending through the crease again. And then back in with the yellow shade. Then for the eyeshadow along this bit, I'm going to go in with this shade. It's like a deeper purpley colour called Enchanted. <coughs> and I'm just applying this along there with a smaller brush. This is kind of like tickling my eyelashes. Like it feels very weird. Then I'm just going to go back through the shade. So I'm going in with that mild wine shade just to help blend that purple shade out. Then in with the red shade which is called 21 and putting that back in at the top then going in with the orangey shade putting them through the crease and then I'm with the yellow one so if you're like me and you're quite messy when applying eyeshadow see to just clean it up see if you go back in with your sponge like with this a uh, revolution one it's really good because it has got that flat tip flat tip, flat edge. So I just go in and press this down to like sharpen it up a little bit and just to clean it up where I have messed up and because of like whatever foundation that's left on it, it does just 
like clean it up for you. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with the two orange shades and I'm going to run these along the lash line. Then I'm going to go in with that first purpley shade, purpley shade that we used, which is called Mild Wine, and I'm just going to run that along as well. Then I'm going to go in with Enchanted and run a little bit of this along the lower lash line as well. I'm going to go in with this shimmery shade called Everyday and I'm going to put this in my inner corners. And then I'm going to put it on my brow bone as well. So I just quickly curled my eyelashes and I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and I'm just going to apply this. For eyelashes I'm going to use the GWA Tempt Me eyelashes so I'm just going to apply these and then I'll be back. So I like accidentally dotted my eyelash against my eye now I've got like a white dot of um, eyelash glue so hopefully that like dries down and you can't actually see it on my eye but I'm going to move on to the lips while that's drying and I'm going to use the Revolution lipstick in the shade Chauffeur and I'm going to use this like around the outer parts of my lips because I'm going to use a different lipstick for like in the centre. So I ended up just applying that all over my lips and I'm going to go in with the Rimmel this is one of the Kate Collection ones in the shade 42 and I'm just going to apply this to like the centre of my lips just to lighten it. So this is the finished makeup look and this is just a close up of the eyeshadow. I actually love it, like I'm honestly liking it so much. And I'm recording this on Friday, so the video will be up on Sunday. But it is actually my birthday on Thursday. So I was just want to know if you guys would want to see like uh, what I got for my birthday. I don't really watch them that much, but if you guys want me to record it, then I will record it for you guys. But just comment down below and let me know if that is something that you would like to see. So that is it for this video, and I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!